I just think that's fucking insane. She's doing all of that for SpongeBob. And like, I don't know him. You know what I mean? But like, I do see a world in which Ariana Grande is with somebody else in a year because we know that's how it goes. Ariana Grande is one of the most successful singers of all time, but she's definitely not a winning girlfriend of the year because she's cheated multiple times. But it's also like kind of, the irony of it was my kind of what drew me to it because there's a lot of pain on the album as well. So yeah. There's everything. Yeah. But it, Ariana Grande seems to be in her home wrecking era, or at least that's what her fans are accusing her of. She's been a little messy lately and people are not liking it. This whole yes and attitude, it's not getting her anywhere. But now she's addressing these cheating rumors, trying to mend things. And honestly, it's not working as well as she'd hoped. What's the truth about her relationship with Ethan? Did she really ruin his marriage on top of her own? Last year, Ariana Grande found herself smack dab in the center of the gossip mill thanks to her headline-grabbing romance with her Wicked co-star Ethan Slater. The whole situation had people confused because, well, both Ariana and Ethan were still married when they started filming for the movie. And get this, rumors of their love affair started swirling online just three days after Ariana's split from hubby Dalton Gomez hit the newsstands. But hold up, it gets messier. Ethan didn't even file for divorce from his wifey Lily J until a whole six days after the world found out about him and Ariana. Lily, bless her heart, wasn't holding back either. She straight up called Ariana out in an interview, saying she's not exactly what you'd call a girl's girl and that her family was basically getting caught in the crossfire. Saying that a girl isn't a girl's girl is like the fucking worst insult you can dish out. If somebody said that about me, I would go rethink my entire life. Now, you'd think things would chill, right? Wrong. Ariana decided to drop a bombshell with her latest single, Yes And. Straight off her upcoming album, Eternal Sunshine, this track was supposed to be all about living your best life unapologetically. But the eyebrow-raising lyrics had fans shook. Your business is yours and mine is mine. Why do you care so much who's D.I. ride? Whoa, Ari, that's bold. Needless to say, the backlash was real. Like, really real. Ari lost 350k Instagram followers after that song hit the airwaves. Now Ariana recently dropped some truth bombs during an interview with The Zack Sang Show. And let's just say, it got the internet buzzing. She straight up suggested that the media was unfairly coming for her. There is a sense of this album where you're talking to people who have come to their own conclusion. What? People have crafted their own narratives. Yeah. The thing is, is that like, we know this about the tabloids and about the media and about, don't, like, am I crazy? Don't we know this? Ariana wasn't holding back, pointing out how the media conveniently twists things to fit their narrative. They're all about painting a picture, even if it means leaving out some crucial pieces. It's like we selectively remember that this is what the tabloids do to people, especially women based on whether or not we like the person. We selectively remember that. We selectively leave space for humanness, for nuance. Like, they don't leave space for that. Well, they do for their friends and their family. It's selective. Yeah, but, when they, but when they turn it off, when that aligns with the version of a person that they have in their head that they want to believe is true. Does that make sense? 100%, yeah. But, but, but I don't say this for them. Again, I'm saying it for my fans, for myself. Zach totally got it too, acknowledging how messed up the media circus can be. Nobody, nobody cares for the sake of a good story or for, right. for curing one's boredom. I mean. But through all the noise, Ari's keeping her focus on what matters, her fans and herself. She's not about to get caught up in the drama or let the gossip get to her. Ariana's out here playing the blame game, acting like the tabloids are out to get her when she's innocent. She's trying to twist it into some kind of attack against women, but the fans aren't buying it. And the kicker? She's not even showing any remorse. And despite Ariana's attempt to shed light on the situation, social media wasn't having it. Accusations of gaslighting flew left and right as people called her out for dodging accountability. One fan wrote, Ariana Grande in that interview really tried to justify home wrecking with feminism. Like if you're consciously fucking a married man whose wife just had their baby, 
I got no sympathy for you, hun. Yes, he should have been loyal to his wife too, but this doesn't excuse her either. And it's crazy how much Ariana Grande danced around that home wrecking question so much during that interview. Like babes just admit it like nobody believes. You, SpongeBob's wife confirmed it. So who TF are you to try to gaslight her and lie? Like you're sick and pathetic. Yeah, we can't forget about Lily, Ethan's ex, who had her say loud and clear. She spilled the tea, and people on TikTok weren't about to let Ariana forget it. They were quick to remind her that the truth had already been laid bare. But wait, there's more drama brewing. Ariana just dropped the track list for her upcoming album, Eternal Sunshine, and one title caught everyone's attention. The boy is mine. We have to add that there's this whole realization dawning on people that her latest album, ES, might just be all about Ethan Slater. And about that song, fans wasted no time speculating about the meaning behind it, with some side-eyeing Ariana's past and her alleged role in, well, let's just say complicated relationships. Once people saw that song title, they went off on Twitter. One user said, The boy is mine. That's crazy, girl. If you are going to be a homewrecker, don't be so proud about it with E. And, Love my girl down, but she's never beating the homewrecker allegations with some of these titles. Whim the boy is mine? Another wrote, Break up with your girlfriend, I'm bored. The boy is mine. Ariana Grande's fantasy is stealing a man and ruining a relationship. But this isn't the first time she's addressed these rumors. Taking to Instagram, Ari spilled the tea on both the highs and lows of 2023. But let's be real, she wasn't about to let all that drama slide without a little sprinkle of shade. No names dropped, but you know Ari was talking about the whispers and assumptions surrounding her love life. From her rumored romance with Ethan Slater to whispers about infidelity and her split from Dalton Gomez, Ari wasn't holding back. In her Instagram story, she wrote, I have never felt more pride or joy or love while simultaneously feeling so deeply misunderstood by people who don't know me, who piece whispers together and make what they want out of me and their assumptions of my life. I have learned how much more important one of those things is than the other. She continued, I am reacting to things that deserve my energy only and removing and protecting myself from things that do not. Concluding her message, Ariana wished her followers a very happy, healthy new year and offered comforting words, reassuring them that any feelings of being misunderstood or alone would eventually fade and that they were not alone in their struggles. You already know how the fans reacted to that. They were saying stuff like, this is a great example of one of those posts where if it were true, she wouldn't need to share it. Ya girl is trying to convince herself and all her followers. And I have never felt more tightly held or fiercely protected by those who love and understand me. You know who's probably not feeling tightly held and fiercely protected? His baby mama and infant son. Ouch. Obviously, Ari and Ethan have been under the microscope since their relationship went public. But can we blame people for being curious? Before you start with the judgment, there's more to this story than meets the eye. Sources close to Ari and Ethan are setting the record straight, saying that the whole situation's been blown way out of proportion. According to insiders, their romance only kicked off after both parties had respectfully called it quits with their former flames. While this entire situation has been blown out of proportion, it's much different than what has been portrayed in public. They are just trying to navigate their new relationship in private. People have tried to question the timeline. The truth is, Ariana and Ethan didn't begin seeing each other until after both parties were separated, respectfully. They're keeping things low-key and private, trying to figure out this whole new relationship thing without all the drama. And let's not forget about Ethan's little one. A second source added, They are doing their best to balance the fact that they are in the public eye with the desire to be respectful to all parties involved. Ethan's priority will always be to co-parent his son. Now, about Ari's split with Dalton. Yeah, it hit the headlines after she was spotted ringless at Wimbledon. But insiders assure us that despite the public announcement, the pair had actually gone their separate ways back in January. And she wasted no time in finding herself some new arm candy. With both of them jetting off to England for wicked filming, it was practically fate that brought them together. Ari's slaying as Glinda while Ethan's bringing Boke to life. And rumor has it, Sparks flew both on and off set. 
An insider decided to add more fuel to the fire. This source it claimed that Grande and Slater didn't exactly go to great lengths to conceal their relationship while working on Wicked. They'd hold hands on set in Bedouin takes. They were sloppy and not hiding it. Ethan sat Lily down a few days before the news broke about him and Ariana and said that he wanted a divorce. Lily never saw it coming. Ari and Ethan aren't holding back. They've taken their relationship to the next level, even moving in together in New York City. And can we talk about how supportive Ari's been of Ethan's Broadway debut? From opening night to Christmas Eve, she's been there cheering him on. But her relationship wasn't the main point of Ari's new interview. And the fans have been waiting a while for this one. Ari also talked about everything else, especially her album and the writing process. Ari was hesitant about dropping new music until after her time in Wicked. She was torn between releasing both parts or just one. But when the strike hit, she hit up Jungle City Studios with Max Martin in NYC and the creative juices started flowing. Ari's new album is super relatable, touching on eternal sunshine of the spotless mind vibes. It's like a whole concept album thing, which is a first for her. That's why she's holding off on another single drop. She wants fans to vibe with the whole album at once. It's also touching on eternal sunshine of the spotless mind, so it's kind of a concept album, which I also haven't done before. Um, and that's also kind of why I don't want to put out a second single before the album because I would like for it to be heard in one piece. It's a story of transition and growth. Ariana poured her heart into this album. She went over each song a bunch of times because she was deep in her feels when she wrote them. Even the upbeat ones had her tearing up. It's, it's very vague and very specific but like, but all at once. E Several passes at all of the songs just to kind of be protective because I wrote them when I was very emotional, some of them, and then some of them were more, you know, there are bops that are more fun and then, but actually even some of the bops I cried ready, <laughs> but, but I think like the process that, the thing that was beautiful about it was when I was writing, it was with no intention for the world to hear it. I was just kind of like, let's just go, let's see what comes out. And then when I was done, I remembered that <laughs> people will hear it and how Sometimes people can sensationalize things and um, assign meaning to certain things. And I wanted to make sure that I combed through just to make sure that it was what I intended. Here's what she said regarding the leaked tunes. A TV show for uh, I remember this. something that was not for me. Uh. So fantasize comes out, comes out crazy, was stolen, <laughs> comes out, thieves, pirates, crooks, <laughs> illegal. What? How are they stealing? I'll pay you more to put it away, <laughs> like to get it back. Why don't you want it out there? Because people think it's yours, well, because, they don't know the context. Well, that wasn't my song. That wasn't yeah. for me. It was like a parody of like a 90s girl group vibe, but they loved it. They loved they it do. so much. And I was like, you? A, all of you are absolutely hypocrites, and B, <laughs> that's crazy. It's so corny, but it's okay. I, I, I took the note, and I kind of gave them Ariana's version of that on the album. I would say that exists. Oh, yeah. Oh, which yeah. Was yeah, so some of those seedling ideas from that time actually made their way onto the album, which is really exciting but they, they're completely different now, so. Not everyone was vibing with what Ari had to say, but she still has some fans standing by her through thick and thin. One of them said, amazed by the first part of the interview, I've been with Ariana for countless years and I've never seen her speak with such firmness and determination about who she is and how she's doing her art. I'm so proud of her. Can't wait to get to know what she has in store for us. What do you guys think? Is Ariana really innocent or is she trying to manipulate the situation? After all, all the facts are against her. Seems like she has nowhere to hide and the fans aren't buying what she's selling.